Well, it's time for our daily holiday this morning. We are celebrating Mother's Day, and we're going to do this a few days early. Of course, it's all about appreciating moms for the impact they have on our lives, on our families, and on our entire society. Just think about all the hats moms wear. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think about my mom, and my goodness, she was, there were three of us, and, you know, working full-time. Dad was working full-time, yep. and um, it was busy cooking dinner and and uh, getting us to where we needed to be in all of our activities. And Oh, yeah. Thank it's you, amazing mom. when you think back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's amazing. Now, with Mother's Day comes having to find the perfect gift, of course. I don't know. How do, how do you repay a mom for all <laughs> that she does, right? I don't know. Are you still shopping around with some ideas? Here's News 8's Nick Ragnar. It's time to get your mom a present, isn't that right, Linda? Right now we're at the Lacrosse Floral with the president of Lacrosse Floral, Linda Zerbin. Linda, when we talked to you back on Valentine's Day, you said <laughs> Mother's Day was even busier than Valentine's Day. How busy have you guys been? Even busier because we're both a florist, but now it's time for gardening. And, you know, after last night or the cold nights we've had this week, definitely gardening. And some things that you can do are things like peas. These are peas that are edible tendrils. The pods are edible. The peas are edible. But this doesn't need to go up a pole or anything. This could go in a window box. It only gets 20 to 24 inches. And this is something new called a bloom bags. I have lettuce that's starting to come up in here. Marigolds, because I want a little bit of a flower. <laughs> or even a bigger one. You've got three different kinds of basil, dill here. I love making fish with dill. You've got peppers. You've got cucumbers. All kinds of things starting to happen here. Um, another big trend is succulents, of course, and succulents can be in all forms. This is the type of thing called a sedum, but this is a little one called lime zinger. You don't have to plant a strawberry jar with wax begonias. Just something funky like this is fun. Or think of a new hanging basket this year that you don't have to water very mm -hmm. much. Here you've got something called pink vigi. It looks like little, I don't know, triceratops little mouths. <laughs> and this, this is also something that looks like a little cabbage. And here's your regular, what some people might know from the garden as vinca vine that takes the heat. Now, I'm using my fingertips. I'm a pretty strong person. <laughs> but the thing is you want this to be a little bit drier and it's in a more rustic container which kind of goes with the gray green. That's right. a trend. Trends are gray green. Now here's the example of a huge hanging basket which weighs a lot more. This is for the shade. This is a type of begonia called illumination apricot. And then we have another good shade which is brawalia. Another good shade which is a fuchsia. We've got your regular ivy. This is called Algerian ivy. That's going to flow over the edge. A little bit of white variegated because in the shade you want something brighter like white to pop and then here's that ever trend lime green so just like there's the gray greens there's the lime greens there's it's from another angle but you can see how it's starting to fill in large large basket here's another large basket these are about the size maybe a little bit smaller than what you see in red wing and here you've got your bordeaux petunias you've got something called scavula or blue fan flower and you can see how it's a fan and this is the type of thing that you would see up along Red Wing, along the River City in the okay. big hanging baskets. And there's a begonia. It's, new, it's a brand new begonia called Big, B-I-G. We've also got one called Whopper. But you've got a pretty combination that's going to tumble. Hummingbirds and butterflies and bees are going to love this because it's a single flower. And it's got that little thing they can stick their little proboscis in. Fantastic. We'll leave it to Linda Zerb to help you out on Mother's Day. I know you got a lot of other stuff here at Lacrosse Floral that we're hoping to look at coming up later in our show, but for now we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, some really good options there. Lots Pretty of stuff. different yeah. options for a mom. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Nick. And we wanted to take this opportunity to recognize some of the great moms in our lives and the lives of our morning crew members. All right, first up, I want to wish a happy Mother's Day to my own mom, yeah. of course. And she, of course, is... Uh, out in Colorado, so probably not watching right now. She could be live streaming, though. You never know. Yeah. Could be watching it on our website. So, uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Yeah, she's so nice. Now, next up, a photo from the early 80s. It's one of, it's, uh, it's our producer, oh, wait. Kelly. I forgot. Oh, wait a minute. There. Yeah, I forgot my, uh, 
uh, wife. I wanted to include Aww. her as well, you know, for my uh, being the mother of uh, our three kids. So yeah. uh, forgot about her. So happy Mother's Day to my wife, Christy, That's as well. a nice picture. Yeah. And nice of you not to forget about her. <laughs> Although I almost did. Yeah. <laughs> forgot it was in the lineup here. <laughs> our next photo is, uh, um, of course, we put our, there she is. There's our producer, Kelly, and her mama. <laughs> that's great. Such a nice picture, and that's from the early 80s. All right, so we're going uh, way back. That's all right, though. Now, our next photo is of our associate producer and morning reporter, Nick Ragnar, who you just saw with the uh, flower story there. This is with his mom, Carrie, at his sister's, Alicia's, high school graduation. And happy Mother's Day to Michelle Podell's mom. That is Deb right there. What a nice picture. And that, look at beautiful Michelle. I believe that's yes. a wedding day photo. And we have to say happy Mother's Day to uh, Jen, of course. Look we it. don't have a photo of her with all of her four kids yet. Uh, after all, baby Jack was only born just a few days ago. Yeah. Aw, so cool. And hey, of course, we have to say happy Mother's Day to you, Lisa. Well, thank you. Yeah, so here you are with your uh, lovely girls. Or my peanuts. We did the big muddy <laughs> run. That was... Oh, Almost yes. two years ago. I remember doing that yeah. uh, in years past. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Love being a mom. Love it, love it, love it. And now it's time for weather. Uh, check on our weather forecast.